Show. Give it up for Louis Cato, the Late Show man, right there. Thank you, friends. Thank you, friends. Yes, Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday. Nice and uh, exciting. <laughs> Haven't seen everybody. Thanks so much. I, uh, I, in just a minute, uh, we got uh, a gentleman we've had on the show several times before. He's uh, always an interesting conversation. Uh, Representative Adam Kanzinger is going to be That's here. That's right. Formerly of Congress, formerly of the January 6th panel. He's a guy who does not, uh, he does not pull his punches when he was in office. Yeah. I look forward uh, to hearing what he has to say now that he doesn't have to be reelected. That should be... Um, Actually, uh, yeah. Bracing is how I would describe that conversation. <laughs> um, before we get going on, you know I love me a Don Lemon. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. uh, Don's uh, a dear, dear friend, uh, Soul Cycle Emergency Contact. And <laughs> I, uh, of course, I always watch the, the CNN, what's it called? Mm. CNN This Morning. CTM, we call it. CNN This Morning. And I was watching This Morning, and I was a little taken aback because I didn't, I didn't expect uh, this. Could you show what he was wearing? There you go. Oh. Um, you know, I, I believe a great man once said, what the f is that? <laughs> because... <laughs> <laughs> he looks, I know they want to add some comedy to CNN, and this is hilarious. But how do you report the news in that outfit? How do you actually talk about tragedy wearing that? Because what could be more tragic than that look he had this morning? <laughs> and could you put it back up? He looks like he went for, like, he's like a high school track teacher who went for a run and then got a little hungry and stopped at a restaurant, but it was too nice of a restaurant, and they said, sir, you have to wear a jacket. Uh... So he then... Then he, he stole a jacket from an extra from Guys and Dolls. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Don, uh, you got a lot to answer for. <laughs> I hope you talk about this tomorrow morning on the show. I'll be watching. <laughs> Folks, earlier in the monologue, I was talking about the latest allegations regarding New York Congressman George Santos, but, of course, today's revelations are just added to the long list of lies Santos appears to have told about himself, which, in case you forgot, include claiming he attended Baruch College and NYU, graduated summa cum laude, worked at Goldman Sachs and Citigroup, had Ukrainian Jewish grandparents who fled to Brazil to escape the Holocaust, had a mother who died in 9-11, employees who died in the Pulse nightclub shooting, was one of the first people to get COVID, owned an animal rescue charity, attended a prestigious prep school, was a volleyball star, <laughs> made $750,000 salary, was mugged on his way to pay rent, had a career selling yachts, a million-dollar apartment, 13 real estate properties, and new revelations are coming every day. Day. So the whole country is wondering what is the truth about George Santos. Well, here to tell us the truth about George Santos, please welcome Congressman George Santos. Congressman. <laughs> Congressman. <laughs> Congressman, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me, Stephen. It's an honor to be back on your show. Th this is actually your first time here. <laughs> Not according to my IMDb. It says, uh, I've been a guest five times, and I was also your band leader, John Batiste. <laughs> not only is that not true, that's not how you pronounce his name. Mm. In no. fact, you're facing damning accusations that you fabricated almost all of your backstory. But here's an opportunity right now on national television tell the truth, clear things up. <laughs> What's to clarify? Everything I've said has been the truth. Or my name is in George Anthony Devalder Santos Kitara Sobraski John Jacob Jingleheimer Celino and Barnes. Is, is any of that your real name? I don't know. Probably. <laughs> okay, let's let's get to some of those allegations. Earlier today, you denied claims that you used to perform as a drag queen. <laughs> Absolutely, Stephen. This drag story is just another media uh, distraction that is simply not gonna work. Oh. Grrr! Sorry. Sorry. Next question, please. Well, what, what about your claim to have attended both NYU and Baruch College, even though there was no record that you went to either? <laughs> no record? Okay. Then how do you explain... this? <laughs> hmm? See, that's... Legally, that's a diploma. No, that's not. Okay. That's just a shirt, and you obviously made that. Okay, I did not, although I could have. I double majored in t-shirt design and professional volleyball. <laughs> okay, so, oh, so, let me, so you're sticking to your story that you played volleyball at a school you never went to. <laughs> of course. 
I'm a volleyball star, a star! I'm a star! In fact, I'm in the middle of a big match right now. <sighs> See, touchdown! Another win for Hogwarts. Look, just, just, just tell me the truth. What, what, what about the Friends of Pets United, that animal Ooh. charity you claimed to run and collected money for, even though the IRS has no record of it? <laughs> so what? The IRS doesn't know everything. Does the IRS know the weight of a wish? <laughs> or the song that Hope sings? By the way, uh, those are names of my other charities, so please donate below. Jimmy, no, Jimmy, take that down. Don't right take it Don't down, right Jimmy. Don't send your money there. You, you, S Santos, you, you've been accused of some really atrocious things. You claimed your mother died in the September 11th attacks. Then you said she died a few years later, and then you said she died in 2016. What really happened? <sighs> Stephen, how could you bring that up at a time like this? Can't you see I'm at my mother's funeral right now? <laughs> Do you know how hard it is to lose someone when they've already died three times before? I'm, I'm sorry for your losses, but Representative Santos, after all this deception, do you really expect Republicans to keep you in Congress? <laughs> of course, Stephen. They can't get rid of me. I'm the Speaker of the House. That... No, no. No, you're not. No, don't uh, applaud him. Yes. No, mm -hmm. that's Kevin McCarthy. <laughs> okay, Boomer. <laughs> <laughs> then, where did I get this gavel? You obviously bought that. It still has the price tag. The, 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 I'm gonna have to fact check you right there, Steve. I did not buy it. I stole it. <laughs> Everything you have said tonight has been a lie. Unless you're willing to actually tell the truth, this interview is over. Okay, Jimmy, why don't okay. we just... Okay, okay, wait, wait, okay, fine. All right? No more lies. I'm ready to come clean. Go ahead. All right. The truth is, my entire campaign was secretly funded by... What? My telephone? Hello? Oh, Anna Winter? You want me back at the Met Gala? <laughs> And this year's theme is drag, something that I have definitely never, ever done before. Oh, oh, I gotta go, Steve. I'm so sorry. Representative George Santos, everybody. Uh, and thank you to Harvey Guillen. We'll be right back with the real Congressman Adam Kinzinger. That's me. That's me. No, it's not. That's not your name.